greetings from the Sunshine State. Today I plan to do a chain pull to create tropical palm leaves and perhaps some tropical flowers if I feel in the mood if there's room on the canvas later. It's been over a year since I attempted a chain pull. The last one I did, I have the link up above in the corner. It's um, video number 26 titled Shades of Cool. This time I thought I'd do a tropical look with palm leaves or actually banana leaves and I decided to use a base of white and blue. So this is Artist Loft White mixed with Motrol and Benjamin Moore Color Sample Cool Sight Blue mixed with Motrol. So I have a number of, uh, well they're like ceiling fan chains lined up. I got them on, on Amazon last year. And here I'm applying various shades of green to mimic the, the various shades of banana leaves. So I'm laying down Amsterdam sap green in various spots and Lipitex green deep permanent. Loft metallic leaf green, very appropriate. Artist Loft light green, I love that color. So I'm just saturating the, the chains, making sure that they're all covered with paint. And this is Modern Masters Green Apple Metallic. And this is Liquitex Light Olive Green. And then finally Artist Loft metallic lemon yellow and then I'm just going to add some more fill in the gaps with the light green So this is the longest chain I have, so I doubled it up on the table. So it's going to be my, my largest leaf to the center. And I'm using a wooden spatula to take off any excess mounds of paint on the chain. And it helps to guide it onto the canvas, that's the challenge. It's pretty with all the shades of green. And then I had some water on hand so that I could wash the chain right away before using it again. It's a messy technique once you get going. <laughs> of course, paint pouring in general is messy.
So I'm just trying to saturate it again with the paint. Now I'm, my, my plan was to do the second half of the banana leaf and pull from the center portion but I didn't get it quite right at the top. And then I didn't have enough paint on the chain because the first time I had it sitting in the paint. So that didn't work. I had a hint of the shades of green on that one. I also thought that perhaps the base paint wasn't thick enough where I didn't have enough on there for the chain to slide because I did a, another leaf here and I found that the same thing happened. And this was laying in the paint. there. Decided, you know, if, if something doesn't work out, you can always go over it and correct it. But my correction wasn't going as planned. It was skipping over the canvas and it wasn't saturated enough. So I kept pushing ahead and I thought perhaps uh, if I start over again with the chains, saturating the chains with all the, the um, shades of green, perhaps I'll have some luck. But I, but I, I pretty well knew that it was, the problem was the base paint. It was too thin. I needed more underneath for the chain to slide over. See, this just didn't take at all. So that's when I decided I have to start all over again and apply more base. And I just used white this time because I figured it would mix with the colors underneath. So white with shades of green and blue. <laughs>
you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. I decided to put away the greens and take out some shades of red to create some colorful flowers, tropical flowers. So I had some leftover colors, Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta, Artist Loft Metallic Red, Liquitex Fluorescent Red, and Liquitex Pyrrole Red. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.